Okay, I think I got it. So good afternoon, North Tonawanda. This is your weekly update, and uh, Facebook is changing a few settings, I believe, and um, I couldn't get on at work. Couldn't get on my cell phone at work today, so I had to come home and get on at home, and even that wasn't working. Um, so I finally got it to work. So our update for today, hope everyone had a great Memorial Day weekend. Started a little rocky with weather, but we have the heat here now, and I we'll hope you're all staying safe and healthy and enjoying some time off. So, as we get going today, we have a lot of things to cover, and the first one is um, instruments. So last week, I talked about keeping your instruments for the summer, but the committee in the music department kept talking and thinking, and they decided that best practice really will be to get them back, get them tuned and in shape because it's uh, very easy to get an instrument out of tune and sanitized and clean and ready for uh, distribution in September. So when you go to the schools next week to pick up your school supplies, please bring back your instruments so they can get those out to the places that need to tune them and get them ready for next year. So that, that's number one. Number two is with music, our third graders who are leaving our Drake, Ohio and Spruce Elementary building will have an opportunity to try an instrument for the first time in fourth grade. And there's a really nice video on our webpage and Facebook that you can find, search and listen and watch with your third grader. And it shows them all the instruments and it shows them what they sound like and helps them get ready to select an instrument, which usually would have been part of the selection process in North Tonawanda if we were in school. So those are those top two things with instruments. The next piece is about graduation. So the planning committee met today and um, we're um, in the midst of a, of a planning, but I was trying to do something a little bit grander for the students um, using the city and uh, I just couldn't get permission from the mayor and the police chief based on the governor's directive. So um, I had hoped to kind of have family and relatives line Payne Avenue and some of the emptier areas like the plaza and in front of Lowry, the old Lowry School and the tennis courts and City Hall and the cemetery and uh, Socorro Post and that on Sunday morning. So they could all hold their signs and cheer them on, but uh, we just can't control the crowds that way. And so they're a little weary of that. So what they did give me permission to do is to have a scaled down version of that parade that we will do on Ridge Road. And it'll be very um, controlled and tight. And this will not be the only way you're going to hear about this. I'm just telling you today because I'm hearing a lot of people and other districts are sharing their plans. And uh, so here's our plan that you will hear also through a Global Connect call for our seniors, as well as on Schoology, as well as the web page, as well as Facebook and print. So you'll see it. But what we're going to do is we're going to break the seniors up by alphabet. So like A through C, D through F, and they'll be given a time on Sunday graduation day, which is June 28th, to uh, sort of line up on Ridge Road. They'll be sent through the back there, and sort of at the codes end plant turn, we'll have someone with a walkie-talkie asking who's here to graduate. And they'll call that name up, and when you get to the new concession stand by the football field, there'll be music playing and a little stage, and we'll ask the graduate in their cap and gown to get out of the car, so please put them in the passenger seat. And mom and dad and um, brother or sister could be in the car with them. And they'll walk up on the, across the stage, get handed their diploma, and then walk down and get back in the car and go. And as they're walking, the car can kind of creep along with them and you can be taking all your pictures of them getting their diploma. Uh, there won't be um, the formal picture taken or anything like that, but you're welcome to bring your cameras and do that as they, as they cross over. Keeping in mind that North Tonawanda is a small city school district and we'll have over 250 graduates to do this. So we're anticipating that it's going to take us a couple of hours. And uh, that's another reason for the alphabet. So you'll be assigned that please come uh, at 9 o'clock. Then the next group of alphabet will be assigned for like 9.20 so that they're lined up and ready to go. And every maybe 20 minutes, depending on how many last names and those alphabets are there, we'll kind of time it out. We figured that getting out of the car, walking the small stage and going over is going to take at least 10 to 20 seconds a person. And um, we'll keep things moving smoothly and efficiently. They'll get their actual diploma, the case, and a program of the movie. So 
we're trying to get this done and be have everyone done by noon so that if you are doing any small gatherings at home with grandma and grandpa uh, to watch, um, you can show them the pictures that you took when you came through with the drive through And then the video will premiere about one o'clock so you can plan your uh, cookouts or your gatherings that you might have with family uh, for one o'clock. And a very traditional graduation ceremony, like if we were having it at our park, will be done. So um, the senior class picked the provosts, which are teachers that come and help get them um, organized. They have picked a guest speaker from the faculty to speak. There is the salutatorian and valedictorian who will do their speech. Mr. Ballas is working with the kids to do um, singing uh, live and some of the alma mater and some of the other songs that they like to do. Um, very traditional program. I'll be speaking, Mr. Fisher will be speaking. And then as each student's picture is put up, um, their name will be said, just like if they were walking the stage. So it'll say, you know, Greg Waitilla, and they'll have my picture for probably, we're figuring about five to six seconds, because it would take about seven to 10 seconds to walk the stage so that, you know, you can get pictures of it on TV as well. And um, you'll be getting information from uh, Mrs. D. Virgilio and Mrs. Guzan on how to submit your pictures for that in a cap and gown. So uh, we hope that between these two, we're, we're good with graduation. Um, an actual graduation ceremony will be on campus in the back by the football stadium um, where that nice new cement is in front. The reason we're doing it back there and not in front is a couple reasons is uh, we don't have traffic backing up onto Meadow Drive. We can get everybody in the back there and in on Ridge Road and off the street so they're safe. That's number one. The police were very worried about that. And the other piece is that we don't know what the weather's going to be like. So if it's a rainy day, um, as long as it's not a downpour, we'll continue with it um, back there because we can kind of keep the uh, diplomas and that safe through the through the snack window and keep them hand them out and, and give them to people. The graduate will be asked to wear a mask. The person handing them the diploma will have a glove and a mask on handing that to them. There'll be no handshaking. There won't be a whole line of people to shake hands. It'll just be uh, one person handing it out to them. But definitely plenty of time for uh, photo opportunity as well as uh, the the time that, they, that they'll be up there, that they uh, kind of get their moment for walking across the stage. So if there is a really bad weather day, um, we will either look to move the drive-in to later because usually it's not all day bad so we'll do it after the premiere that might be our plan b or we're talking about other plan b's but uh hopefully plan a works in it's decent weather it usually always is um a little bit of rain won't discourage us if we have to do that so we have the video and a lot of information on that which will be your traditional ceremony you'll also get a program just like if you came to our park they'll have everyone's name listed in it um, it'll tell you what's going to be the order of the video. So as you're watching the video, you can kind of follow along as well. So uh, both of those will be set. It's always all right now set to premiere on June 28th, just like you would have been planning had we stayed in school. So we know that everybody kept those dates and times clear. And it was a, about a two hour trip uh, or better if you came out to Lewiston, parked the car, got into the auditorium, did all that stuff. And then um, hit a drive home. So we think we can get it done in, in town at uh, two o'clock and it'll be on uh, the web page and at the video. So if you don't wanna watch the graduation ceremony that day, you can set it up for any time after that, uh, the next weekend or any time or send it to someone who's out of town so they can see it as well. The next uh, topic is the prom. So the prom is not canceled, but it is obviously not going to happen as, as planned. Um, Mrs. D. Virgilio again and Mrs. Kuzan, who are the class advisors, were talking with the senior class and they really want to hold out for hope that we can do something, even if it's like July or August. There is sort of some backup plans if we end up not being able to have it because of the governor's restrictions and um, just having that many people together um, in a small quarter is not going to be permissible for businesses actually to hold it either. So they're right now working with the Wolster company there where we have it behind platters and um, they'll work with us on a day, even if it's a weekday to have it and it's later in July or August. But um, if 
it can't happen. The kids are kind of giving them their suggestions on what they might like to do still. And because they're still setting that up, I don't want to get into too many plans that might not happen because um, I've seen them come and go plenty of times. And everybody has a, a very good suggestion and it needs to be kind of thought through and planned out more in these times just to make sure that everybody is um, going to be safe and it's allowable and it's you know going to meet all the standards that we need to have. Uh, so that covers instruments, 7th or 4th through 12. Uh, third graders picking an instrument. It tells you a little bit more about our graduation ceremony that I said. They'll, don't forget, there'll be a lot more information coming in print. We'll do a global call and reminder. I'll keep the day open, looking between 9 and 12 for you to come and kind of walk our stage in the back there and get your diploma and get mom and dad an opportunity to take some pictures. Um, police will be there to uh, make sure the crowds don't get too big and make sure everyone stays safe uh, and allow and kind of restrict traffic on Ridge Road there so no one else is getting in there. That's another reason for Sunday morning when the food pantry and sportsplex are not holding any events either. So we're going to try and keep it just to the graduates that are coming through with their immediate family in the car and um, decorate it real nice. You know, if, we, if it's nice weather, we'll get the balloons out and we'll have all our red and blue out there and uh, we'll be playing music uh, on there and uh, it'll, it'll be a very nice event and it's kind of nice to have it on school property anyway since that's where they spend so much of their time. So that's our plan for that and the last thing is pre-k we still get some calls and questions so typically when we do the lottery there's a waiting list and then the people who did get a spot um, have X amount of time, which is coming up, I think, the end of this month to let us know if they're going to take the spot they got. When they don't, we start going through the waiting list and letting people know that they can now sign in and um, take a spot if, it's, if that works for their schedule. And we move through that. So I was talking with Mr. Tambroni today, who is in constant contact with the pre-K pre um, providers, and um, we're talking about other options too. So. Hopefully more information on pre-K will be coming. I'm going to take a look and see what we have for questions. So don't forget. Obviously I did. Um, if you weren't able to get a cap and gown, could we still dress nice? Okay. So the cap and gowns, there's a bunch being delivered to the school. So when the students come in on June 4th, if they ordered one or you know you ordered one, um, they can stop and pick them up at the office there. Also, that prom boutique that was started by some moms in town have extra caps and gowns that they can borrow you uh, for you and do that. But typically, everyone who walks the stage, everyone who's graduating has some kind of cap and gown. So hopefully we can work with everybody to get one because you'll need it for hopefully you'll have your picture in it for the video. And then you'll have your picture taken when you cross the stage. Uh, the Johnson's rep sent me an email saying caps and gowns are being delivered at the high school at the end of April. He sent you a good call from school. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, Joel's was sitting there as well, too. Uh, we had to wait for the staff to start coming back in. I know that um, those people who called and they've left messages, I think um, the secretaries have been trying to make that arrangement, but people haven't been allowed in the school. So everyone um, will get them on uh, June 4th. And um, if you're, for some reason they forget to do it that way, we'll have more staff in, uh, working in June as we go back to sort of a 50% workforce here in North Tonawanda. And uh, we can make arrangements for you to get them in early June. Okay. Who do I contact about fourth grade band? Well, you want to watch the video. We'll give you a lot of information there. And then right now, I believe the plan is that when they get in, to fourth grade, they will sign up and finish everything that way. So I know some people will work with Matt's Music locally or another place to start instruments first. So um, if that's what you can do and they're going to work with, uh, do some kind of virtual, I think they're doing virtual uh, instrument lessons, you could start that. Um, but typically fourth grade, I'm assuming any instrument you want. Of course, they can't have a band without clarinets. You gotta have some other instruments, but um, we will see. Uh, right now, uh, now that it's up here, I can put it in the comments during the week or have them posted or have NTI send out some information to the third graders specifically. 
iPad returns are only for seniors. Seniors will be bringing them on June 4th. It's part of their sort of uh, check-in list to get their diploma and make sure everything else is done. So seniors will be returning them. Everyone else who has them 7 through 11 will keep them for the summer and bring them back in September. We're not sure what September will look like, so it'll be good if they keep them because um, they'll have them. If we have to do anything remotely or send them any messages, I could do a global call to say, turn on your iPad and look at Schoology because there's information in there on what you need to do. So, okay, perfect, thank you. Let's print and save that one. Uh, I applaud the district for working so diligently for the students. Just kind of. Um, okay, so just to clarify, grades 9 through 11 do not bring back books. Um, iPads, you do bring back books. They'll be drop-off places if they have uh, school books there or library books or any kind of reading books, even K through um, 6. If you had been uh, using the teacher's library of books, they ask that you bring those back when you pick up your supplies. They'll have boxes to put them in and sanitize them and keep them fresh. So if you have textbooks, you should bring them back 7 through 12 or K through six on your day that you're coming to pick up because we'll need them for next year. Okay. Yes, they're keeping their iPads unless they're a senior. Seniors have to turn them in. What about kids with parents with no vehicle? Can we ask a parent to take another student? Yeah, I would think you're gonna have to set something up with a relative or a neighbor or a parent who's a different last name alphabet to take their kid through and then go pick up yours and bring them at that time. So. Um, we can make sure that everybody gets a chance to go through and you'd want to be with them in that person's car so you can see them and take a picture. So um, you want to work on setting that up or this could be a first. We could have an Uber graduation driver. So you could call Uber, tell them to get in line and go through and let your child get out and you're in there and then he can take you right home. So, um, so that might be something would be a first for that. Okay, broken iPads can be turned in though. Yes, if you have a broken iPad, we want it back. We want to see those, uh, get those ready, and then they'll be ready for distribution in September if need be. Um, I don't have all the anymore. So that's all the questions for now. So, like I said, if you share this, that's great because we want people to hear all the news. Uh, we are going to be um, having more staff in the building June 1st as far as the 12-month staff that work, the clerical and the administration. So uh, you can make appointments. There are new guidelines and rules for us over the summer, so uh, doors will not be wide open for you to walk in, but you can call and make an appointment. We've been doing that for the uh, working papers, and after tomorrow I'll be taking that um, information back to the high school because we figured so many students will be coming uh, next week, Monday through Thursday, to get their things that we wanted the working paper uh, material there so they could stop in and uh, get working papers while they're collecting their uh, locker stuff if they need be. Um, just a reminder on that, you know, it's not probably going to be a great week for four days in a row because we live in Western New York. So if there is um, a limit, like 30 people in the building at a time, and uh, you get there a little late or you're a little early for the next session, you might have to be prepared to stand out in the hot sun or uh, bring an umbrella if it's raining, that kind of thing. But we'll try and get everybody in. Um, we are going to do uh, sort of a six feet social distancing for inside waiting, but we're kind of restricted to and how much we can bring in because then we have too many people inside the building. So be ready for anything, I would say. Uh, we'll have some masks there if you forget, but uh, please try and bring your own mask for sanitary reasons and just make sure that you keep those um, with you. What day do 8th grade pick up? I know it's posted online and you're testing my memory, but it's the Monday and Tuesday after next week. So it's June 8th and 9th, and I want to say it goes 7-8, so I think it's the 9th. But please um, go to the web page or uh, check that out, or I'll go double check it afterwards and try and remember to type that in. Why wasn't a car parade allowed for prom? Why would we? Because isn't the idea of prom to uh, be dancing and singing and doing that kind of thing? Um, it, yeah. Uh, I, the kids really want to try and get together. And if you're in a separate car driving with your parents, that's no fun. 
and you're really kind of violating the social distancing rules if you have the date in the in the car with you. So um, it's not anything that was considered, and I think the kids want to be in groups, you know, 10, 12, if they can, and 14, and, you know, they, they, they have a lot of friends, and they want to see them all, and you can kind of go pick up take your kid in the car now and kind of do that and drive around and listen to music. But um, there's a lot of issues that go with a parade, you know, from my studying with the city to try and get permission for a little bit bigger one is that um, crowds will gather. You can't control the crowds. There's people not paying attention. They're texting on the phone. They're taking pictures. There could be accidents. And so um, no good deed, so to speak, goes unpunished. So the more that you try to help, and do things and then someone happens and yeah it's it's just not good so um the prom would not be in a parade form of any kind uh our annual reviews being done in june yes so they're still going through june until they're done uh, we even do some in the summer july and august if need be but they'll be continuing right through june i think they're scheduled to try and have them all done by june 12th though um, so, uh, if you haven't heard yet, you should hear in the next week, because I think they're scheduled week out in advance. If that's the case, it was something at a minimum. Oh, for the car parade for the prom. Yeah, something at a minimum. But they, there's other things they're thinking about, like a picture-taking opportunity. There's other things. They'll be getting their swag bag of prom goodies when they come in on June uh, 4th to close up their lockers and stuff. So every student will get that kind of nice piece of it. And, um, you know, a big part of, of prom is this gathering and having social conversations. And if you're in a car with two or four people, that's, that's not the same idea. So um, the big focus really for school is to graduate. Uh, proms are not mandated, but they are a very much a rite of passage. And so the kids, when we ask the kids who are on the committee what they wanted, they really want to wait and try and do something in person. So we're going to try and honor that and hope that we can do that. So I don't know that I see any more being done. I found this on my slides, right? So, yeah, so that's part of working with the senior class on those funds. Uh, so they, a lot of those things go to decorations and, and pieces like that. Um, I don't know specifically what was fundraised or what, what fundraiser you're talking about, but those are held by the senior class officials as well as the, the teacher advisors. And they're talking about what makes sense to, to spend it on or use. They, I know they talked too about um, the sad fact that we lost one of our students this year and doing a memorial for that person. Um, using things like that. Uh, they're really a nice bunch of kids and they've uh, suggested a lot of things in memoriam. Um, so there's a few things that they're still trying to work out the details on. So hopefully next week I can share a little bit more of that. Um, yeah, so I know, yeah, the, the car parade for the prom, no, uh, but they won't have, have any parade. If you want to have a birthday parade, you're really not supposed to have it in the city. So um, to plan something that they're going to shut down or cancel on me, I don't want to do. They gave me permission to uh, hold it on my property, and so I'm doing a little thing for graduation. I think it'll be really nice. They get to walk. Parents can see it. It'll be on property, pomp and circumstance, the cap and gown, the whole bit. Um, but again, like for prom, just to get out and walk across in your dress and get back in the car, it's, it's graduation's more important, I think. So and it's not what the kids want. The kids want to try and have it together. So let's let's do what they want. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm trying to think. The big focus now, I mean, everyone's got to push uh, to get graduation on, underway. And then um, we're waiting for guidance from the state in July. So I had mentioned that I'll probably keep these up um, throughout the summer and um, give you updates for what's happening with school opening in September from how many kids can ride on a bus to uh, what lunch might look like to how we're going to be socially distancing and masks and gloves and the whole bit. So believe me, there's no shortage of uh, things to plan out and work on. So we'll do our best and I appreciate everybody with the comments. I thank you for sharing it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will be back next week. Take care.